What's up guys, this is Walid, and this flip it physics problem is going to be the cannonball. So there's a ball that's flying and hit this wall, and they're asking the first question, um, how fast should the ball be going in order for it to reach the melting point? So, that's Q equal mass times the specific heat times delta T okay and then and then before when the ball is flying to the wall it has kinetic energy and this kinetic energy is equal to half m v squared okay so this kinetic energy, it told that all of it transferred into um, heat, like before it melts. So this is called Ke. Okay, so we just set this equal to this. And then, so half mv squared will be equal to the mass, specific heat, delta T change in temperature. Okay, so we can cancel the masses. So the V will be equal to two c delta t square root okay all right so that's number one let's go number two number two is they give us the latent heat of the iron and so like after it reaches the wall and it's almost gonna melt the one it's after it melt completely Okay, so this one before a melt and they want question number two after a melt so half mv squared so they want velocity if it melts completely so obviously it's gonna be higher because it's gonna go to almost melting point and then it melt so it's gonna be equal to m c delta t now we're going to add this guy, which is plus the latent heat of the iron times its mass. Okay, now we can cancel the masses again. So the velocity will be equal to 2C delta T plus latent heat of iron square root of this guy. Okay. This is just a simple problem. You just need to know the concept of it. And then it should be easy for you. All right, guys, if you have any questions, just shoot it in the comment or direct message me. I'll see you guys.